Insta360 sent me the go-to and I wanted to find out if it is the best tiny camera for FPV drones. Now, when it comes to flying drones that are under 250 grams or even micro cinema drones, you just can't carry a full-size GoPro. The options you're left with either to tear down a perfectly good GoPro or buy an off-the-shelf decase camera like the SMO 4K or the GoPro Bones or buy some of the different cheap versions such as these light cameras. While I haven't torn apart a GoPro, I have bought and used the SMO 4K and this cheap light camera from Firefly. Now, I've either broken them or I just can't get them to work or when I'm trying to, it's at least not user-friendly. So I'm hoping that the Insta360 GO 2 makes that experience a whole lot easier. In terms of basic specs, it certainly punches above its size and weight. You can record in 2K as well as in 1080. Now, while it doesn't do 4K, you really don't necessarily need it as most people are watching on social media so 1080 is going to be fine in most instances but using 2k does allow you to stretch that up to 4k and maintain a lot of the quality there are two main video modes which are really determined by the level of stabilization the camera is going to give you pro mode gives you insta 360's flow state while the standard video mode only provides basic stabilization and the thing you're going to need to do is calibrate the inbuilt gyro through the app before the stabilization is going to work the go to has the ability to shoot in different frame rates you've got a choice of 24 25 30 or 50 frames per second and i was a little disappointed that it didn't do 60 frames per second or you can set the go to to 50 frames per second which when you edit allows you to slow down your footage without getting sort of the jitters there's also a slow motion mode which films at 1080 in 120 frames per second which allows you to slow that down by four times when it comes to using the go to it's either controlled via your phone or through the charging case and there's some handy one click button settings that you could also turn on which means it goes straight from being off into recording really quickly and this is one of the things i really love about it it's just pressing the button and you're up and away mounting on an fpv drone is easy and there are a lot of 3d printable options on thingiverse or you can get the mount adapter bundle from Insta360. I found myself using 3D printed mounts on my freestyle drones, while on the cinema drone, I went with the USB power mount, which I then connect through this iFlight balance port to USB-C cable. You can probably use the USB power mount on freestyle builds, but I'd add a rubber band as extra security in the event of a crash. Battery life when you're shooting in 1080p is around 30 minutes or four to six packs. Although battery life on 2K is limited to 15 minutes, so you really only want to use that for cinema drones where you can power it through a regular LiPo. The charge case does recharge the Go 2 in between uses, so it works very similar to the charge case that you have with your AirPods. Using the app is pretty simple and it works really well. You connect the Go 2 up via Wi Fi. There's some auto color correction and a whole bunch of different ways that you can manipulate the video in the app, which is also really nice. Exporting from the app to your phone is really simple and you're able to get your clips straight onto social media. You can also transfer the files to your computer over USB, but you do need to open the case and click connect to enable USB mode. There is also a range of different accessories that you can get. Most importantly for FPV is an ND filter kit and there's also the included lens protector. The ND filters are screwed onto the lens, which means they won't come off like the magnetic ones in a crash. The only gripe I have is the Go 2 only has internal storage and comes in either 32 or 64 gigabyte options and there's no way to actually expand that. That being said, you don't risk losing your SD card. On the run cam thumb, I lost the back door after a crash and my SD card is now unprotected and at risk of being, of being lost. But it does also mean you need to constantly transfer files from your camera to your phone if you're out for a long day of shooting. With all this being said, is the Insta360 GO 2 the best tiny camera for FPV drones? Now, this might have you thinking, what about the GoPro Hero 10 Bones? Well, that comes in at 60 grams, while the Insta360 GO 2 is a measly 27 grams in comparison. That's a lot of weight on your smallest and lightest weight builds. For ease of use, simplicity, and it just working as it should, absolutely it is, but with a condition, the battery life. If you're going to be spending a bit of time in the air and needing to film, you'll probably have to use the USB power mount, such as the iFlight Type-C to balance plug charging cable. But overall, I'm really impressed with it. If you'd like to grab the Insta360 Go 2, check out the affiliate link in the description. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.